What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I wanna show you an app called Irview. Now this is a free app in the Mac App Store, so it's definitely worth checking out. But basically what it does is it pulls in photos from a site called unsplash.com, and it sets them as your wallpaper. Now you may or may not be familiar with this site, but I did a video on it about a year or two ago. And basically it just has thousands of photos that you can download for free and use in any project that you need to because they're all royalty free. Now I actually use these in a lot of my projects and I also love their photos for wallpapers. Now the only thing with this is that I tend to have to go to the website every time I want to change my wallpaper, find a photo I like and download it. But what's awesome about this app is that it saves me the time of having to do that and I basically never have to change my wallpaper manually. So when you open up the app, it just sits in your menu bar and you can get some information on who the photographer is and you can open up their page on the website. But if it's showing you a photo that you don't like, let's say you're into nature shots and it's showing you a picture of a car, you can blacklist that photo and it'll stop showing you photos from that category. You can also go ahead and just change the current wallpaper and it'll jump to the next photo in the category that you've specified. And you can change those categories by going to the channel and if you open up the add new, you can actually paste in a certain URL or even just put in a keyword there and it'll pull in photos from that category. Now they already have two categories added for you. They have featured and new photos but you can add three of your own for free. And if you wanna add any more after that, I think you only have to pay a dollar per channel. But really three is more than enough for what you're gonna need. And like I said, you can just change the current wallpaper at the top or you can hit load previous wallpaper. And one cool feature is that you can actually save that wallpaper that's currently being displayed. This is really nice if you finally find a photo that you really like and you can save that. Now, if you open up settings, you can actually customize where that's being saved to. And you also have tons of other options here. If you're using your monitor in a portrait setting, you can change that orientation there. And for people like me who have multiple displays, I have two monitors, you can actually tell it to use a different wallpaper for each photo or just use the same. Now, if going in the menu bar is still too much work for you, you can actually use a shortcut to change your wallpapers, which is awesome. So if you go to the shortcuts tab in the settings panel, you could use something like Alt Command N to go to the next photo, and you could go to Alt Command Z to jump right back. Now, there are still tons of awesome features that are available in this app, but I wanted to give you a brief summary of what it did. I spent a lot of time trying to find an app that'll change your wallpaper, but really I didn't like any of the photos that some of the apps were going to, or they're just cheesy, they weren't being updated regularly, and this app is by far the best that I've been able to find. Like I said, it is free, so there's really nothing stopping you from testing it out. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.